What's going on YouTube? This is Ed over here at Echo 2 Four Tactical. So you guys have been getting on me in the comment section about an update on the Staccato CS. Well, here's my update right now. Uh, we're going to verify it's clear and safe. I got an empty magazine. I got nothing in the chamber. Empty magazine well. All right, we're just going to lock it down, pull the trigger, clear and safe. All right, so there's been a couple modifications that I've done with this pistol since the original 1,000 round review, and I'll go over that right now. Um, I took off the Holosun 407 and I swapped it with the Trigen, Trigicon RMR Type 2. I also took off the Pro Ledge that attached to the TLR 7 sub and I attached the Antimatter Wing. Um, I felt these two upgrades would be more beneficial to me in carrying this in an everyday capacity. The RMR Type 2, I don't need to elaborate on any explanation on that. And the antimatter wing, this is something that was recently released about two months ago, maybe. I did a quick review on it, uh, my initial thoughts and opinions on it. I'll leave a card right here so you guys can click on that and check that out if you choose to. But it really gives me a nice positive um, control of the pistol. I actually have so much control keeping this muzzle down. I almost feel like the pistol is comped and it's not even comped. So it does a remarkable job of just getting up. Normal carry position, the pro ledge, I felt like I, I needed to get up on top of it more because I felt like I was lagging on the side of it. This just gives me the ability. It folds up out of the way when it's holstered and then it just flops right down, spring loaded for me to get my thumb on it. Go ahead and draw and point and shoot. It's very natural, it's easy to use. I think it's fantastic. I love it so much, I actually put it on my Staccato 4.15. I was gonna put it in my code for you, you don't need to see that code. I put it on my Heritage Edition 4.15. Clear and safe, empty magazine. As well, the angle's a little different for the larger firearm and it attaches to the X300, but I just think this is absolutely amazing and does a remarkable job as well. All right, back to the CS. So the main issue that we had with this pistol was failure to lock to the rear. Uh, there was a lot of guys in the comment section that said, hey, this is all part of owning the 1911, is all part of owning a 2011, uh, stretch the springs out, clean the inside of the spring, stuff like that, clean the magazines, um, just get used to doing that because it's typical for this type of platform and stuff like that. Um, I just reached out to Staccato. I said, hey, this is, this is what I'm encountering. And uh, I said, can I just get some new springs for it? They didn't send me springs. They sent me brand new magazines. No questions asked, blocked them in the mail. I had them several days later. I'm like, damn, that customer service was pretty impressive. So after I got it, I did not want to just shoot this a couple hundred times and say, hey, okay, no big deal, no issues, and just move on with life. I wanted to really use it. So originally I had the 1,000 round review. I'm up to 2,500 rounds on this pistol now. And with an additional 1,500 rounds on these magazines, I have not had the issue of them failing to lock back since. So that's just a quick update with that. Pistol still runs remarkably well. I'm very impressed with it. This is my EDC. I carry this all day, every day. I'm very impressed with the ergonomics of this pistol. I'm very impressed with how it shoots. Um, I'm just very impressed with everything about this pistol. So if you have any concerns about maybe picking up a pistol like this, um, mainly probably because of the price point. It's not something you could just throw around $2,500 to $3,000 and say, okay, sounds good. Let me just try this out. Um, I'm sure you're going to put a lot of thought into it, but I can assure you, you will be very content with this pistol. So even to back up a little bit, even without the issues of the magazine, I thought this pistol did remarkably well and I was very impressed with it. So now that we've got this magazine issue resolved, and hopefully Staccato has also got this resolved as well, we should have no further issues with this in the future. And we can continue to carry on and be happy owners of Staccatos. This is my first Staccato. This was my first Staccato I ever picked up. 
why I decided to go this route, I'm not sure. I saw it at SHOT Show, I thought it was super cool. I said, I want that. And that's one thing led to another. I also have the channel here. I can bring the content to you guys and let you, go, let you guys know my opinions over time. So as of right now, 2,500 rounds, magazine issue appears to be resolved. I'm really happy with um, all of that. And I picked myself up that Staccato 4.15 Heritage Edition the Staccato P because I had the full length dust cover. I had every intention of getting a P and bringing that to the channel as well and using that as another um, everyday carry firearm that I'll be utilizing quite frequently. And I have a review coming on that soon. So in the meantime, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for you guys for coming back and checking back in, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.